happy Saturday. Happy Coffee and Cards Day. I am Jennifer, for those of you that are new, and I am whispersinink.net. Well, that's my company anyways. Um, I'm here today, and I gotta make sure my volume's down because I know it was blasting. I'm here today to make a fun fold. We're gonna make an easy fun fold. And good morning, Nancy and Paula. We're gonna do a fun fold today, and I have some other information that I wanna share with you and a little um, trick. We haven't done any tips and tricks lately, although I think that we always do tips and tricks, but I have a fun trick for you today. And what else? I think that's pretty much it. Oh, I have something to share that we did in the team meeting as well, so which I'm kind of excited about. Just a fun little cute idea. So I hope everybody is well today. If you are catching the replay, please don't forget to post that you're catching the replay so that I can say, hey. Um, and then what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, again, reminder, have you used your bonus day coupon? You need to find it. Good morning, Sue. Um, please go through your emails from July and get your bonus day coupons. Make sure that you use them. Um, let's see. What else? I think that's it. Ding Dong Ditch is still going on, and we're going to be using the Harvest Hellos for that. And then the second one is a new stamp bundle in the fall catalog using this fun little um, essentials or everything essential bundle it goes with this punch. It just got here, so I'm kind of excited about being able to play with that. And then what else? I think that's it, you guys. I think that's it. So I'm going to turn the camera down and a great, my great friend Rochelle pointed something out to me. So I tried it this morning and it works. Yay. So let's do that and we'll get started. So I, you guys are still going to get my hand in front because I, you guys don't want to see my pudgy belly. So hold on one sec. All right, so we, I, I know you guys are upside down, but, oh, now you're backwards. Well, see, I knew there was a reason. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now, no, there we go. Now you guys are right side up. Sorry, I don't mean to keep, keep, keep flipping the camera. Good morning, good morning, everybody. The camera is upside down on my phone to me, but it is right side up to you guys. So that's why I have my iPad. All right, so now you guys are the right way. So much fun jumping around on the camera. And you can see that I have the book open. This is the big annual catalog open to page 74 because we're going to be using the So Sentimental bundle, but I'm pairing it with the stitched rectangles. And you're like, what? All right, I the fun fold that we're gonna do today, I need a panel piece. And I really, really like having um, the scalloped edge along with a layering piece, all right? Now, that one doesn't quite fit, and I'm gonna actually show you because I have one cut out here. Here's one that I have cut out, and then this piece is 
the stitched piece that's this one. And this one is one, two, three, four. This one is the fifth one from the from the from the biggest. So you count in one, two, three, four, and this is the fifth one. So this is the reveal that you get, which I like that. You know, you get a little bit more on the sides with that one. However, this one side to side fits better, but it's a little bit too long at the top. See that? So here, good morning, Erica. Good morning, Kim. So I'm going to show you how you can adjust that top. We are still going to use this one, but so this piece here, this stitched rectangle is the fourth from the biggest. So one, two, three, four. This one was the fifth one. And remember, this fits in that stitched pocket perfect. This one fits in with, it's a little bit skinnier. Just like that. Both will work. If you don't wanna do the trick, that's fine. But here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pull in this longer rectangle because it fits across this way. We're gonna put all these other stitch ones away. Get them out of the way for the big shot, or for the whole, oh, I didn't say that. Get out of the way for the cut and emboss. And I'm gonna put it this way. Don't believe I said that. You guys, that's like 15 years of word usage that I have to work on correcting. Ooh. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this stitched piece just like this because that's about, now this is a guess, you guys. Plus I'm gonna show you another tip. If you do this on an angle like this, it'll be easier to run through the cut and emboss. So here's our sandwich. And this is why I don't do the die cut work on the camera. All right, so there's our sandwich. We're gonna run it through and because it's on an angle it's gonna get tight but it's not going to get to the point where it snaps and crackles there's that move our machine uh, yeah i know naughty naughty erica i know so here's what we get our new stitched piece now it's gonna go a little long but really are you gonna notice? I think not. Now, you could, you could, if you're feeling really brave, you could have done it same piece, but just moved it down. But my thing is, is are you really going to be able to get that lined up exactly the way that you want it? And then it might cut it off because you're adding that stitching all the way down. So, I mean, try it. I don't think it's necessary. I think that still looks good. Just like that. So there is, hey Kendra, hey Leslie. So here is our second piece. And see how nicely now that fits in our little section just like that. But we're not done. Let's talk about the fancy fold itself. Now this fancy fold can be done with a five and a half inch piece, or it can be, and this one's a little big, I forgot to cut it. Or it can be done with a four and a quarter inch piece. 
which is what's so fun about this fold. Our quarter of an inch. And no, I'm not gonna save it. All right. Here's how the fold works. For the big one, we gotta open up the arm for the long one. This one, we need to score it at five, oops, five and a half. And then we're gonna take that five and a half and we're going to do it in half. So five and a half divided by two is two and three quarters. And we're gonna back it up. And then we're gonna do our score. Yeah, I know, Paula, I know you're not shocked. Good morning, Carolyn. Now, Melon Mambo, we've got our eight and a half across the top. We're going to score at four and a quarter. And then we're gonna take our four and a quarter and divide that in half, which would be two and an eighth. Just, which is that hash between the two and the two and a quarter, the longer one, and you're gonna score that. That's the scores, that's it. Now, this is where the fold counts. You're gonna fold back, and let me grab my bone folder, fold back, and then you're gonna fold up, just like this. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna do it this way. Folding up here and folding back there. And this is how our cards are gonna sit when we're done. All right, so we've got the this is Granny Apple Green, and we've got the Soft Sea Foam with the Whisper White. And then we have Melon Mambo with the Blushing Bride and the Whisper White. And we're gonna use that smaller piece this time, you guys. So just like that, there is the fold itself. That's what it's gonna look like once all done. Now all we have to do is decorate. Anybody have any questions so far? Thumbs up, we're good. Move my hands out of the way. You guys. Do, 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 do. Oh, I see. Okay. Whoop. Oh, I'm going backwards because you guys are upside down. I forget. No waste. Nope. Nope, nope, everybody's good. Oh, I love all the hearts. Thank you, guys. That's awesome. All right, so now let's bring in our stamp set from our bundle. And here's the reason that I like this wider piece. I took my pieces and I'm trying to figure out how wide I can be. I can fit this Friendship is a Blessing in the middle of this. It might lose the little tip of that friendship, but it fits. And that wedding, wishing you much happiness today and always, will fit in this bigger piece. So, now you know the reasoning why I wanted to do this piece. This piece, you can do the calls for confetti, the sending healing hugs, and even the thank you fits really snugly, but even the thank you fits on, on the smaller piece. So what sentiments are we going to use, you guys? I'm gonna put our folds off to the edge. Thank you, friendship. Healing hugs, we could make this even a birthday card. We could do calls for confetti or a congratulations. That would be kind of fun. 
Morning, Heather. Move my hands out of that screen so that you guys can see. Or you can just follow along on page 74. I'm super kind of excited about this. Oh, goodness. Big lag today, you guys. So bear with me. I'm taking a swig of coffee. I'm going to get some ink. And go with those two as well. Congratulations. There isn't a congratulations on here. Calls for confetti and make it congratulations. My coffee's here. It's here. Trust me, Kendra. There is there is not a morning without coffee. Explain, Erica, explain, because there's no congratulations. We can tweak a congratulations. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, we might pull in this one too. You guys. All right, so you guys are talking about congratulations, and I'm going to pull this beautiful friendship in, and we'll use a very big, actually, we'll try to will it fit, yes, it'll fit on the little one, but I want to do one of these. Yeah, but it calls for confetti, could be a congratulations, I guess, it could be a celebration, but we'll do the a very big congrats and best wishes to you. And then we'll do in some flowers with it. But, and I think that the big one, I would like to use the friendship. Are you guys on board with that? Believe it or not, with as used as this stamp set is, you guys, I haven't even used this congratulations yet. I love this stamp set. Love. Great stamp set for the Stamparatus. Sharon says friendship. Erica says friendship. One that looks round. Oh, are you talking about Wishing you much happiness today and always, Paula. Is that what you're talking Are you talking that one? There's the friendship one and the thank you one. Trying to figure out what you're talking about. Oh, that's backwards. Oh, man. Sorry, guys. I didn't realize that that was backwards. Yummy licious or the healing hugs? I don't know. We're going to we're moving on. We're going to start with this one and then we'll figure it out. We're going to go with this congratulations and guys, when you're stamping, be super duper aware because you don't want to rock your stamps. You want to hold your stamp down and maybe do a little shimmy, but you don't want to literally rock it back and forth and side to side because, 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 that's how you get the schmeglies on your, on your edges. I need a scrap piece of paper. I guess we'll use the back side of this. Let's 
scrap piece of paper. I'm sorry you guys are backwards. We're gonna use a couple flowers here. Yeah, that's all good, Paula. And I'm gonna use, I'm using the four, the same four inks. I'm gonna use the Blushing Bride, the Melon Mambo, and Soft Sea Foam, and the uh, Granny Apple Green. There's that. And we'll use this up here. Oh, look how pretty that is. And we'll get this one flower here. Well, no, I tried something. I don't like backwards. Don't like backwards, so I'm going to figure something else out. It's all good. Next time, you guys will be straight. I promise. Then we're going to pull in our two leaves here. Back up to what, Kendra? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. love this stamp set you guys this the i this this stamp set for some reason is like coloring oh sorry this is coloring to me seriously so pretty we're going to pull in one more. I think we're going to pull in this one. This little sprig of goodies here. And we're going to do it in the, not the Blushing Bride. Do some little wisteria here too in pink. Oh, wrong way. That's all right. Don't forget to huff. Second generation. There we go. Oh, shoot. Okay, so I've never had that happen before, you guys. My white paper got stuck to my stamp. Now, this is just regular Whisper White, the regular. We're going to try again and make sure that that doesn't happen. There we go. That'll work. So there's our congratulations. You guys, that's all just stamping. That's it. Stamping, stamping. We're going to close our inks. because I don't know what we're gonna use on the big one yet. Oh my goodness. Shoot, I really like that. All right, so here's the quandary. Do we put this one on the green or do we put this one on the pink? Oh. Green, pink, the Mellow Mambo, or on the Granny Apple Green. That is the question. That is the question. 
Granny Apple Green, Melon Mambo. I think it depends on the look that you want, right? Sharon says the Granny Apple Green. Oh, even Erica says the Granny Apple. Okay. I'm thinking I like it too. It's a little, it makes that pink pop. Heather says the melon. We still have, we're still going to do this one. Don't forget. Kendra likes the melon mambo. All right. I need a tiebreaker. We got two and two. Paula, Nancy. Oh, Paula says the granny apple green. Hey, Becky. All right, so we're going to do on the granny apple green. And here is, here is my suggestion. Okay. Oh, even Becky says the granny apple, and she just got here. All right. Here's my suggestion. I am pulling in the multi-glue and I'm kind of guessing Ooh, Sue says the melon mambo sorry Sue we're going with the green granny apple green and I'm kind of spreading that glue a little bit as I put it in place and there's where our card front is and then we're going to take our sentiment piece here here here, here, and I think we're going to put a little, just a little one in there so we don't have any, no sagging, no squashing, and Heather, I left the back on that one. <laughs> okay, we're going to put that in like that. So there is card number one. And then we're going to take this other piece. And we're going to do the friendship is a blessing. And we're going to pull in our melon mambo. And you guys, can you tell... That still isn't straight. I got that a little crooked when I did that cut. But guess what? We're going with it. Friendship is a blessing. I'm gonna put that right in the middle. Again, don't rock. Just press. And you don't have to press hard either. So no biggie. All right. Are we going to leave this plain or do we want to decorate it like the other one? But we'll just flip some of the colors around. That is the big question. Or, or we could do um, a couple little small bloom flowers on there and kind of let it be at that. Thank you, Becky. Yes, Farm Charm. Okay, so Kendra says decorate. So are we gonna decorate with, Becky says decorate. Are we gonna decorate with stamp, just the stamping like we did the other one? Cause that one worked out really pretty. Decorate. Everybody says decorate. Okay. So the next, the second phase of that question, just stamp or do we want to use some punches for that one? Oh, Sharon says ribbon. You know I got ribbon to use, Sharon. 
<laughs> Kendra says punches. Erica says punches. I agree with that. I agree, I agree. All right. Grab the small bloom punch and I need some more. I'm grabbing, guys. Hang on. Grabbing some more blush and bride. Oh no, that's petal pink. Wrong pink. So we've got that and a little bit more melon mambo and Some greens. I didn't account for punches, guys. All right. So here we are. Sticking with our same colors. We've got the Blushing Bride, the Soft Sea Foam, the Melon Mambo, and the Granny Apple Green. So since we're using punches, I'm going to actually... I want to put this together on here. And actually, I'm going to do it this way because I know... I know that one of the bumps is missing on here and I didn't see it, so we can cover that. So we're gonna put it over here so nobody will see it but us. Multi-glue, center it. There's that. Just like that. And then we're going to put this in here like we did the last one with the dimensionals. And we put a little bigger piece in here just like that. All right, so. Make sure our sentiment's the right way because that would be what would happen this morning. All right, so here is our card, just like this. Now, we're going to take a couple of small blooms. I'll do one of those. I like this color combo too, Becky. Melamambo Blushing Bride are the color names. So we can do one, two, there, and then we'll do three down at the bottom. So there, here, here, and here, down here, just like that. Remember, odd numbers. So there's three down here, two up there, which is five. And then what we'll do to kind of finish it off is I'm going to take just little sections of this sprig punch, you guys. And that's what I love, is that you don't have to use the whole punch. <laughs> there we go. Use just little sprigs to add our green and we'll put like this one underneath there and then we'll put this one over here and this one like under that. So that'll be what our finished product looks like. 
all we have to do is bring in our mini dimensionals and our glue dots to adhere this stuff. Hey, Heather. All right. Now, flowers usually first. And I am going to curl these up just a little bit. I do, I miss the little um, leaf punch too, but the sprig punch is awesome. We did, we did a wood sign, Sue, using the sprig punch and the tulip punch, and it was super cute. So there's that and that, and all I'm doing is rolling my cardstock along the bone folder for those that have not done that before so you're putting your cardstock and you're just curling but really what you're doing is you're loosening the fibers of the paper and it's going to go the way that you loosened the fibers all right and i have a i have a plan i have a plan this one's going to get a dimensional. The mini dimensionals fit perfectly, perfectly in the small bloom punch. And we're gonna put that right there. And for the little sprigs that we did, a dab will do ya. Just like, and that's all that it needs, you guys. Just that little itty bitty bit. And we're going to stick that under there. Yes, you will. It, oh goodness. Sue, I'll see if I can try to find it. Because that was, that was pre-COVID. <laughs> we're going to do these two down here. Here, here. I don't even remember when that class was. And this one, you guys, I'm going to put two mini dimensionals on that. Now, I know somebody's going to say, oh, but Jennifer, too. Really? Yes, really. because I don't want to lose the curl of the petals. So I took the backer off of the one that I put on here, so it's like that, and then I'm just adding that second one on the top. You can still mail it. And we'll put that one there. I think we'll do we'll do glue on this one. Before I started, you guys, Penelope was on the craft table, and the baby chicks that are still in the craft room were running around, and now it's just so quiet. There we go. How pretty. How pretty is that? So here are our two fancy folds, simple fancy folds. Simple fancy folds, stamping and punching. Great, great, great options. But you know, you know we need I think we need some blade on those flowers. All right, grab my take your pick tool. I'm learning to love the putty end of guys. Ooh. 
Oh. Learning. And I did mean it that way. I'm learning. Because normally I just use the poker piece. Exactly, Paula. Paula says that it might be a little lumpy, but the dimensionals have give so that it will, um, that it'll still go through the machine at the post office. That is exactly correct. All right. So do we need anything else? I think... You guys, I think, I think we need just a little touch of some Wink of Stella on this card. I've had, I've, I've got to tell you guys, and I think you guys are funny, but I've had a lot of people. I just got someone asking me about to order Wink of Stella for them yesterday. This Wink of Stella is fabulous. All right. So here are, let's see if I can give you, a, I know it's backwards, a better close-up of what we did. There we go. And then here is the close-up more of that one. Tips and tricks, girls and boys, for those that are watching the replay, don't forget, hashtag replay. Hey guys, if you learned something today, please help others learn and share. And if you have any questions, let me know. If you need anything, current host code, which it's backwards, but it's up above the video, the A2... Charles uh, C X B N B six. So if you have any questions, Heather, actually, you don't need to do that. If you put the jewels, the jewel side to the back side of your envelope, so that your address part sits here, you don't have to worry about that. All right. Oh, stand them up, Paula says. That's how that one sits. And then this one sits this way. And I didn't crease this yet with the bone folder. This one sits this way, just like that. There you go, Paula. All right, guys, enjoy your Saturday. Have some fun today. And I have a post for you later that you're not going to want to miss. Hugs, everybody. Bye.